everyone so obviously Kane's got a brand new update and there's a whole bunch of new stuff like all these ropes and zip lines um, I'm gonna be going over five tips on how to traverse this map um, yeah so let's get right into it so obviously there's a bunch of these zip lines and ropes around the map and uh, I want to go over a tip um, that'll help you use all these like a lot better um, so pretty much what it is is by holding your grip already like before you uh, actually touch the ropes or zip lines and what that does is allows you to just grab it like simultaneously so like it's it's a lot easier than trying to time it when you go like that to be more consistent i recommend just like holding it down and you know do that so that's tip number one and now uh, let's get right into tip number two so tip number two is what i like to call chain swinging and pretty much what that is is using a rope and swinging onto another rope and you can do that over and over again as long as there's another rope in front of you so uh, i'll show it to you right now and there we go um <laughs> obviously you can get across the map pretty pretty damn quick so uh yeah obviously like anything else in this game it takes some practice to get the timing down but um yeah that's pretty much uh what chain swinging is um it's not really much to it it's just swinging on multiple ropes one after another um, so that was tip number two. Let's get right into tip number three. So tip number three involves zip lines and pretty much what I'm about to show you is what I like to call re-grabbing and um, the basics of it is just grabbing onto a zip line, jumping off of it and re-grabbing the same zip line. So it'll help you get uh, speed going uphill and uh, yeah, it just, just helps with momentum in general. So this is pretty much what it looks like. And uh, there you go. I kind of just launched myself off, but now I'm going to show you a really good spot where you can re-grab and pretty much it allows you to skip an entire portion of the zip line and it also helps you gain a lot of speed. So um, it's really good and I'm going to show it to you right now. Obviously there's a little, there's a little hole, you just jump and you land on this part of the zip line and now you have a ton of speed and you just jump that entire thing. And it's even better if you can land on that and yeah. So that's re-grabbing. Um, you can do it on any of these zip lines. So even if you wanted to like gain height on one that literally goes completely vertical like this, um, you can. So you just have to re-grab. And there you go. That's re-grabbing. Let's move on to tip four. Now what tip number four is, is using the ropes and the zip lines together. So pretty much what you can do is use a rope and land on a zip line after you swing onto it and you can gain a ton of speed and it just looks like super cool. And this is what it looks like. So pretty much that was a basic one, but um, you can do that anywhere where there's a zip line in line with a rope. Um, so I'll try and show you guys another one. Now I see there's a rope there in that loop-to-loop -loop zip line. So I'm gonna see if I can land on the rope and land on the zip line and go all the way down. There's another rope here and pretty much there. You just did a whole little route just by using ropes and zip lines. Yeah, so that was, uh, that was tip number four. Let's get into tip number five. Now tip number five is easily the hardest one of all these tips and um, it's pretty much just climbing up the rope like straight up and the reason why it's hard is because when you jump on the rope the rope likes to move like in the direction you jumped on because of momentum it's like a pendulum so um, yeah so I'll try and show it off I can barely even do it myself but um, it'll be really good when people master it and um, yeah it'll just be leaving people confused on how you did that so um, I'll try and show it to you right now. So there we go. I just cut all the way up by climbing it. And um, yeah, that's easily the hardest one. So um, that, that takes a ton of practice. I can barely do it myself, like I said. But uh, yeah, well, that's all the tips I have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you guys uh, got something from this whole video. Um, so uh, see you guys in the next one. Oh